Street. DJ KY is live in the mix. Turn it up. What's up, family and friends? Welcome to the Woke Nation. Our nation of factual truth. Where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factual truth without fear, without favor, and without faith. Where we encourage you to live your life and enjoy your life because it's your life. And wherever you are, you ought to make yourself happy. You ought to live your life. It doesn't matter how others who are around you are living. It matters how you are living. You have to live your own life. Do you. Do what benefits you. Do what makes you happy. Live your life. You are not born to live for anyone or any people. You were not born to die for anyone or for any people. You were born to live and die your life. It is your life. Um, as usual, I want to share with us a very important thing about my people, our people, Africans, black people everywhere. It's not for white people and they can never benefit white people, but black people, Africans, my own people. It is a fact, although many of them are denying it by faith, denying it by belief in what is written, by belief, or by believing in what they were taught in school. So they thought they were, you know, they were taught the truth about themselves in schools but those teachings make them to hate themselves those teachings make them not to even think beyond what is written or beyond what is said by certain authority per se the reason is because my people are converted people according to Matthew chapter 23, verse 15. Why people cross land and sea to convert my people? And they succeeded making them to wise children of hell. Children of hell to wise than the white people. They, my people are slaves, but they promise them that they, are, they have freedom in Christ. And that Christ happened to be also a white man who the white people taught my people to believe is their savior. And without him, they will go to hell. Without Jesus' name, they will not be healed. Without Jesus, nothing will work for them. So they gave them Abrahamic religions like Judaism, Islam, and Christianity to keep them good slaves. Good slaves are believers. They are not knowers. They only believe because that's what the slave master taught them or programmed them to believe or to how it programmed them to live. They cannot live beyond their faith. In fact, they say by faith they are saved, by faith they are forgiven, by faith this, by faith that. And their prayer is prayer of faith. Although after prayer they still have to go and work it out. They still have to go and do things for their own good. Nullifying even their prayers because if their prayer works, they wouldn't need to go to work. Because they will pray, and it will happen. They will pray. Their God will supply their need according to His riches and glory. But it's not happening so. But because they are converted people, because they are slaves, because they are believers, because they have considered themselves as spirituals, or spiritual beings, and um, believers, or religious people, they don't consider that. 
how can you tell me my father is rich but i still have to go and walk under somebody that is even poor poorer than my father for my father to bless me <laughs> silly silly god produces silly people or silly god produces silly children god is foolish and everyone that worship god is foolish all of them I'm not the one that say God is foolish. It's in their book. He said that uh, the foolishness of God and the weakness of God. So their God is weak. Their God is foolish. And that's what they display in their action. With their mouth, they claim their God is this, their God is that. But in reality, they show that their God is weak and foolish. A God that killed his own son instead of killing his own enemy that is killing his children or that is uh, making life unbearable for his children that god is foolish that god is stupid and that god is weak because it is only the one it's just like a woman right a woman in a family you don't see a woman going to beat the man he know she know that he's stronger than than her that can beat her up right the woman always turn to the weak ones like the children or the house help right okay she also when uh, some women say oh you are cheating on me who do they fight the weaker one who, who is the weaker one their fellow woman they will not go fighting the man you see some of them go to destroy the car belonging to their husband's uh, side chick but not their own husband car because they know what will happen the man who the man will deal with them so people always attack the weak ones and because my people have seen themselves as weak ones they remain in bondage and their god who is weak they believe that god is strong somehow that god is working in a mysterious way somehow that god will intervene and save them from poverty save them from penury save them from their sufferings without knowing that they are the one that hold the power to save themselves to deliver themselves and because of that mentality they have if you are if you rise you want to be their savior they will kill you they will plot for your arrest they will plot for your killing they will plot for your suffering they don't they don't they don't see their themselves as their own saviors so if one of their brethren rise up a brother or a sister among them rise up to deliver them to liberate them they will rise up against that person because you are not the savior they gave them you don't look like the jesus they gave them so who are you to talk who are you if a white man come and tell them that I come to save you, they, they, will, they, will, they, will, they will protect that white man. They will, they will believe everything that white man is saying. But their own brother, no, because they are slaves. They are converts. They are not themselves. They fear their slave masters. And they don't respect themselves. They don't care about themselves, but about their oppressors. My people are people that have that mentality as slaves, I mean slavery mentality, as combated people. They have been combated that they believe that being rich is from the God. Uh, you know, some of them say gods of the land and some of them is from God. So they say that you are, you are hustling or you are hard work. We only give you your daily bread. But being rich is from God, which is a lie. Which God? Being rich? You want to be rich? You are the one that will make yourself rich. You labor, you save, you do, you invest, you do what you're supposed to do to be rich. You can, there is no God that is making anyone rich. They say, Ogranyane Sinachi, Abaka Mumbo, Wegoni. And you see, many of our people believe that nonsense. Oh, being rich is from God. That you are struggling without God, you will only have daily bread. That's nonsense. It's the same thing you do to have daily bread that you will do to be rich. Our people say that. But the same people that tell you we still tell you that it is God that make one rich. You are hustling. You are struggling. You are hard work. We only give you a mat, a mat full or daily bread. 
It's not true, my people. Not chi meze. Chine kene chine chine meze. There is no God that is making anyone a king. A people that have king over them are slaves. King is a product of slavery. King and subject, they are product of slavery. It has nothing to do with nature. It has nothing to do with a good culture of a people. A court in a in a in a community or in a culture, everyone's supposed to be living equally. Why should your own children or why should you bow to your fellow human being? Why? And because you walk in the king's palace, you teach you you train your children the same way. They tell you, oh, for you to be king, you have to serve the king. On your face is a royaka. It's a lie. What they really mean there is when you worship the king, the king will give you something. That's that's the, the true meaning of that bullshit. Because you cannot have two kings. So how can you serve the king to become king? It can never be. The king will not never allow you to become king. The king wants the kingship to remain in his family. And that's why you see them doing everything to have a son. I must have a son to be the heir apparent. The one that will take over when I die. And they connive with these evil native doctors telling you, yeah, it's supposed to come from their family. Excuse me. But you see, even some people have worked, rise, uh, risen up to show you that thing is a lie. And uh, uh, they say, uh, uh, it's a lie. And people say, no, you can't drag who will be king. It's the gods that choose who is the king. It's not, it's not any gods. When our boys begin to do all this 419 and making a, you know, stupid money, or no, too much money, they come and the drag king, some of them become king, some of, some of them send the king to Asia and take over. The things they taught my people, my people believe is the truth, which is not. You don't need even anyone to teach you the truth. If you use your own brain, you will know the truth. Because you, you can have the law of your own mind, you can think for yourself, this thing, is it true? I can find out the truth. And you begin to ask questions to know the truth. But my people have settled in belief. I believe. I believe. Some of them even defending God. They say, oh, the problem is religion. It's not God. I believe there is supreme being. But religion are wrong. You are stupid. Religion simply means believe in God. A believe in God. That's what this religion is. A belief in God that you, you, you believe created all things and, and in charge of all things. Which God? No God created anything and no God is in charge of anything. Whatever is created is created by, uh, or exists by nature. As you believe in creation, I don't believe in creation. I don't say cre created, not created, born. These things you are born, you see, the same way you were born by your parents, that's the same way the trees were born. Who, who gave back to us? The earth. You see, I used who, I didn't say what. Who gave back to us? The earth. That's where we come from. That's where we eat from. That's where we walk on. That's where we live. Everything about us is earthly. There is nothing spiritual about us. There is nothing religious about us. It doesn't matter how you try to define it. Time, da, 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 da. You know, there are things you don't see. That you don't see something doesn't mean it's spiritual. It's still natural. Like now I'm in America. Somebody that is living in Africa that have not seen me, I am, I am, I am a mystery to that person. That person don't know me. I am hidden, but I exist. The person can know me. If the person dare to know me or if the person heard about me. If the person here about me, but they tell you about a God that is, is this God is almighty, is all powerful, but you cannot see this God and you swallow it. You say, Amen, that God is this. Then you saying the problem is the people who are worshiping that God. The problem is the people who are using his name and that God cannot stop them. The God are using his name to, to do all those atrocities. You say that, no, the problem is not the God. You are the one defending the God. The God you are defending is an idol, it's man-made. If God is not man-made, God will defend itself. If God is not man-made, God will fight for itself. If God is not man-made, God will speak for itself. But you are the one fighting and speaking for this God. And you are condemning yourself. You, are, you, see, you see our people because we are combated. People, we are fighting against ourselves and defending God. A God that say we say that this God has power, and we are suffering. This God has not shown 
to show up to help us. You see how we are suffering everywhere, all over the world. Black people are suffering. My people are suffering everywhere. All they can have, you want title, title. You don't need any title. You need the truth. The truth, you know that is what will set you free. I used to be like you. I used to be stupid like you. I used to be spiritual like you. I used to be religious like you. I used to be churchgoer like you. I used to be a believer like you. Set me free. It delivered me from all this nonsense called belief, whether it's African spirituality or Abrahamic religions. The knowledge of factual truth delivered me. There is no belief that I can put food on my table. So what do I need belief for? What do I need God for? Tell me why I need God. You say you are so, you are stupid. Where is your soul located in your body? If you cannot find your soul in your body, it tells you, you, are, you should know that there is no soul. There is no spirit anywhere. There is soul. There is spirit. Is, is the person. You can touch it. There's nothing like invisible soul or invisible spirit. Unless somebody you cannot see. That person is not, if that person was born, ever born, that person is either died in the grave or that person is living. It is time you wake up my people and stop living as a stupid people in the world. In the world where you see people with weapons raining and you who pray in, you are waiting for the, your ancestors to come and fight for you. You are waiting for God to come and fight for you. You are waiting for the gods of the land to come and fight for you. It is time you wake up. If you don't have weapon, you are making noise. Stop that. You cannot unite without weapon. It's when you have weapons, then you can subdue those that are oppressing you and unite yourselves. Live your life. And it starts with you. When we, we, we have to wake up first, first thing first, I've been saying that we, our people are deep asleep. They are converted people in faith. So they need to wake up first. When they wake up, that's when they will rise up and unite. Then rise up and restore their, their, their glory and restore, recover their heritage. Until that, whatever you are doing, you are nothing. They can arrest you. They can kill you. Nothing. I've been saying that. But you think, oh, no, what are you saying? How many people are following you? Fuck that. I'm living my life. I'm, and I'm enjoying my life. I don't need any help from any God or from any man. That's my life. And I can relocate to my village and still live there, even as poor person and die like that. It's better than you dying a rich slave, dying educated slave. It is time you wake up and live your life. Gordon.